Hello everyone, on this video, you will learn how to use Google Earth Engine Platform or GEE. GEE is a planetary scale platform for Earth science data and analysis. Yeah, you can read from this homepage. Earth Engine's yeah, public data archive includes more than 40 years of historical imagery and scientific datasets updated and expanded daily. Okay. Before we going further to the user interface of the GE platform, I would like to introduce to you the Earth Engine Data Catalog. So you can access this website from the following address developers.google.com slash earth engine slash datasets. Within this uh, Earth Engine Data Catalog, you can find so many datasets, yeah, especially satellite image datasets. Three most famous data set are Landsat, Modis, and Sentinel. Okay, for instance, we go to Sentinel and then we scroll down. We can find there is Sentinel 1, Sentinel 2, Sentinel 3, and Sentinel 5. If you want to use Sentinel 2 multispectral instrument, we just click here and then we can explore, for example, the top of atmospheric reflectance data collection. We can check the data set availability. Okay, the availability is from June 23rd, 2015 to February 28, 2021. The dataset provider is European Union and this is the snippet yeah, to use it in the GEE platform. Next, you can scroll down and check the description of this data and then the available bands from band 1 to band 12 the image properties as well as the term of use yeah, especially the image properties we use this one the image properties of cloud coverage assessment this is the description it's talk about the cloudy pixel percentage for the whole archive that contains this granule taken from the original metadata if you want to search another data sets you can just type here for instance population Okay, and then you can check the data set tag population in Earth Engine. So you can see there are so many data sets of population, uh, basic demographic information within the Earth Engine data catalog. Okay, that's the brief introduction of the Earth Engine data catalog. Next, we go to the main window of the GE platform. In this main window, there are uh, four panel, uh, four main panels. The first panel is the main map. This is the main map on the bottom. You can change into the terrain or you can also change into the satellite. Okay, like this. Next, there is zoom in and zoom out. And then also there is some small icon here. This one is for the spanning like this. Drag your data, your map. And then this one is used for make a marker, yeah? point marker. And then this one is to draw a line. This one to draw a shape and the last one is to draw a rectangle. Next on the left, yeah, left, top left, there is uh, another panel. Yeah, this panel consists of three tabs. Yeah, they are scripts, docs, and assets. The script, yeah, you can create a new repository or new file and docs. You can check the function. Yeah. And then for the asset, we can upload our asset yeah, for, for example we can upload our set files okay next in the middle this is a script yeah script panels you can modify you can write your panel here and then modify your script you can also get the link from this one manage the link save your scripts run your script or reset delete all you can clear the script or you can publish into some application like this this is my application and finally the last button is setting buttons you can check this to underline code suggestion and auto complete pairs like this the last panel yeah, is inspectors console and tasks yeah in this inspector you can click on the map to inspect the layer the console use the print yeah the print function to write to this console and the last one task here yeah? when you make a function to export your data set into google drive for example and then the task will appear here and then you just click, click run okay next we can search for a specific location for instance Cuba and then we select place Cuba Ibaraki Japan the maps will go to Cuba like this 
Okay, next we can create a rectangle and the geometry will appear like this and then we can create rectangle like this above the scuba and then in the new script yeah, we will appear far geometry polygon with four vertex you can explore this one is it the coordinates of every node yeah, the coordinate of every single node within the polygon okay next we can also import the data for instance we can import the sentinel 2 image collection just type sentinel and then we can import sentinel 2 multispectral instrument level 1c click import and you can change the default name into s2 for example and click enter we can also import another data set uh, in this case i would like to import the fao data administrative yeah, unit layers first level and second level administrative unit first we'll import the first level okay table one to differentiate between the second level and we can import another data table two like this okay so now we are ready yeah we are ready to do the classification uh, using the google engine okay next yeah when you create your new create the script you have to create the repository okay you go to new click repository and you can give a name maybe gis scuba like this and then click create next you can create a file the file will be saved inside the repository you select the repository and then you can create a file name maybe practice one like this and then you can click ok okay in this case i already have my file okay let just abandon this one okay i already have yeah like this yeah sentinel 2 geometry table 2 and table 1 okay next there is two ways yeah to look for the data set based on the free polygon yeah based on the draw rectangle polygon using this script yeah we can search for a data set this is the script that we make a new variable yeah declaration we make a new variable using the function of ee.image inside the image collection of sentinel2 the filter date is from January 1st 2021 to March 3rd 2021 the filter boundary is geometry this geometry okay we look for the data set is overlapping with this particular geometry and then the short is cloud coverage assessment okay from this one you still remember from this one okay and then next we check the the best image first image and then we ask to print the result into the console okay like this this is the title and this is the the image like this okay the result of this one we can just click run and then the console change the colors yeah you can see the colors of the console change into orange you can click here so we found yeah one image available yeah based on our parameters this is our parameters you can check the bands yeah they are 16 elements band 1 to band 12 and this one this is not a band this is a quality assessment yeah for quality assessment next you can copy this name yeah this name copy just right click and copy and then you can input this into this another script to this script. okay this one this is another declaration the variable of a single image yeah we'll make another variable input please make a variable yeah? the name of the variable is input this is the product of the image only this single image of our study area next we can also create the parameter for visualization this is we make another declaration yeah please make a variable called rgb with the bands we use band 6 
band 5 and band 2 with the minimum numbers 0 and the maximum numbers is 3000 and then the last one we can show the data set using the function map dot add layer so there are three four variable here input this is the input the result is from this one this declaration rgb this is the parameter of the visualization and scuba 6 february 2021 it is the name of the layer and zero means we will not activate the layers okay we will activate the layers manually and this one line number 34 we use the function map dot center object okay, using the geometry which is means the center of this map will show yeah, based on the center of the geometry this polygon and then the 12 12 means the zoom level okay okay next uh, i will modify this one first okay okay now we can check yeah we can check the result of this script okay we just click run okay nothing appears because we make it zero here okay then you go to layers and then you can activate your layers okay this is the result You can change the visualization yeah, of this image. Maybe you can change it to 12, for instance. 12, 11, and 4. And then click run again. Okay, now the result is like this difference color visualization. Okay, okay. Now we can go to another script yeah, to look for the dataset based on the administrative boundary available within the GE World Engine uh, catalog, data catalog. We would like to check the level 1 first. Okay? We make another declaration. Please make a variable. The name of the, the output data will be scuba1. Look for from table one okay, we already make a declaration here from table one this is the level one administrative unit and the function is filter bonds filter using this geometry okay next we will make another declaration please make a variable called data clip yeah. the result is the process from input input we already made the variable here input and we clip based on the administrative boundary we make here okay we already made here we can also make a visualization the result yeah make another visualization function map dot add layer data clip yeah data clip we produce from this step rgb is a visualization parameters level one scuba 6 february 2021 which is means this is the level one yeah, clip by the prefectural yeah, boundary same for the level 2 we make another variable yeah, it is called scuba2 which is which is means the produce from the table 2 table 2 is administrative level 2 we already make the variable before and then filter bonds is this geometry next we make another yeah, variables data clip 2 which is mean the input the satellite data clip by the administrative boundary of level 2 and finally we can show the data sets yeah map at layer data clip this is the result from the previous step rgb visualization parameter level 2 this is the layer's name okay i will delete zero so we will automatically show yeah okay next click run and then in couple seconds we will visualize the result Okay, this is the result of level 2 this is the result of level 2 and then this is the result of level 1 okay 
clip by the administrative boundary okay we go further to the classification algorithm before we create a class names yeah consists of urban forest agriculture burn and water we have to create a new layer okay go to these icons click new layer and then you can create a new polygon yeah like this geometry you create a new polygon like this and then you can modify click this icon edit layer properties and then click the name urban and as a feature collection at the property use land cover please do not forget do not use uh, this this is use uh, case sensitive yeah case sensitive if you use small l okay, you have to consistently use small l land cover the value also of urban is zero okay next you can create another uh, geometry and click ok i already have here yeah urban i will delete it if, if you want to delete your polygon just select and click this one and then select your polygon and hit delete on your keyboard like this okay next yeah we would like to add forest uh, the same way yeah same way just click add layer new layer like this and then this is the forest you can create like this and then you can modify edit layer properties forest geometry feature collection in the property should be consistent land cover and then the value is one like this I click ok i already have forest yeah i have forest here and do the same thing for agriculture where land and water please remember agriculture should be to the value okay and the bare land should be three next the water should be four you can also modify the colors like this and then you can also copy this code this is the html code you can use this in for the palette uh, for the pixel session okay if you finish you can just click exit like this okay now you will have a new variable here urban forest agriculture bare water and geometry the type is feature collection okay and then we merge all of this feature collection into a single class it is called class name okay using the function of merge next we make another variable another declaration the name of the variable is bands consists of band 1 to band 8a of sentinel 2 we make another variable training input from the single image of this particular data select the bands this one this bands, and sample region so function is sample regions the collection is class name from the previous steps properties is land cover uh, from this one this one from the property land cover and then the scale is 10 yeah it is the spatial resolution of sentinel 2 next we create another variable it is called classifier yeah we choose a classifier chart we choose chart yeah regression tree and then the feature is trainings you already made in the previous stage this one plus property is land cover and input properties is bands next we can run the classification yeah we make another variable var classified one yeah this is the output the result the produce from this step yeah data clip yeah we already clip the data from the previous one this one okay this is level one data clip select the bands from this variable and then classify using the classifier classifier is from this variable for classify 2 we use the data clip 2 which is the level 2 of administrative unit select the bands and select the classifier so we can next we can display the classification result using the function of map dot add layer okay input the data the first one is data classified one and then the minimum and maximum number minimum is zero for urban maximum is four for water 
palette red green yellow purple blue red for urban green for forest yellow for agriculture purple for berlin and blue for water body next we add the layers name level one land use land cover of scuba year 2021 and then we input zero if you don't want to input zero just delete it and then it will appears automatically the same way for the level two okay same way for the level two now we just click run Okay, just wait for a couple of seconds. You can disactivate the level one and level two. Okay, this is the result of our classification. We can also this one, yeah, disactivate the polygon, the rectangle, and this is the result of our classification. Convenient, very handy, and very fast process. Okay. This is the level two. You can zoom in like this. Then the bare land, agriculture, urban area, and forest. You can go down. Okay, like this. Yeah, this is the result of classification. Okay, next we can add the legend of this classification. Okay, using this uh, script, add legend, set position of the panel. We make another variable, variable legend using UI panel function the style is the position bottom left and the padding 8 pixel and 15 pixel next we create the legend title we make another variable for legend title using the UI label function the value is land use land cover classes the style is like this the font weight is bold font size 18 pixel margin and padding next we can add the title to the panel Okay, using the function legend dot add legend title. Next, we can create and style one row of the legend. Yeah, we make another variable make row the function color and name. We can create also the label that is actually the color box. Yeah, this is the color box using the function UI label with the style background color yeah, white. Yeah. And then use it padding to give the box height and width. Padding eight pixel margin this particular parameters next we can create the label field with the description text yeah we make another variable for description UI label the value is name the style margin these parameters next we return the panel using the UI panel return UI panel function the widget is color box and description the layout using the function UI panel layout flow horizontal next we create the palette with the colors yeah it should be consistent yeah for the palette this is for the palette this is for the red yeah yellow green purple and blue and then the name of the legend we make another description another uh, variable names urbans agriculture forest berlin and water we add color and the names using this function yeah and then finally we can add the legend to the map using the function map dot add legend like this okay we can run now the legend will appear on the bottom left position like this yeah this is the position of the legend okay next we go further uh, to calculate the result of the classification the first step is we select the class from the classified image yeah we make first one the first variable first declaration is for urban please make an urban yeah select the urban class from the classified one the result of the classified using the level one administrative unit select the classification and using the function equal zero yeah urban has a zero value the same thing for forest equal one yeah two three and four four water Next, we calculate the pixel area in hectares. Yeah, we make another declaration for area urban, urban from the previous stage. Yeah. Multiple by EE image pixel area, which is mean we multiple based on the pixel uh, defined, predefined as urban, and then divide by ten thousand to transform from the pixel into the hectares do the same thing for the area forest area agriculture area bear and area water 
Next, we're reducing the statistic for study area. We make uh, five class, five variable for study one area urban from the previous stage. Reduce region, reducer is function ee dot reducer summary. Yeah, we summarize, summarize the result, and then the geometry is scuba two, which is mean we only uh, want to calculate based on the level two of administrative unit. The scale is ten. This is the spatial resolution of Sentinel two, and the maximum pixel is one power nine. Okay. We do the same thing for the area of forest, agriculture, bare land, and water body. And the last one, yeah, we print uh, the result into the console. The script is print urban area, which is the title, and then the result of the previous stage, yeah, statistic, yeah, the calculation. Do the same thing for forest, agriculture, bare land, and water area. Okay, we want to see the result of the calculation. We click run again. And wait for a couple seconds, the result will appear. So this is the result of the urban area of this particular location. Around 9,500 hectares, the forest around 3,700, agriculture 6,500, land 2,000, and water may be small, only 42 hectares. Okay. The last one, we can also export our data. We can export our data into the Google Drive. Yeah, we can store the result of the classification inside our Google Drive using this script. We can export the cloud optimized geotiff using the function export dot image to drive. The image is classified one, which is means the result uh, based on the level one administrative unit. Description is classification scuba 2021. The scale is 10 meters. Spatial resolution of Sentinel 2. File format is GeoTIFF and format option is cloud optimized. Okay. If we click run, then the result will appear in the task tabs. Yeah. Just click the task and then you can click run. Okay. Nothing you need to uh, modification, no modification is needed. You just click run and then wait for a couple minutes and then you can download your data and then you can visualize using the QGIS. Okay, you can input the cartographic element. The limitation of our engine, yeah, even this platform is very powerful, but it is very limited uh, of the cartographic element. Okay. So you can see to add a legend, there are so many scripts we need to write. And then you need to write another script to visualize, yeah, to add the title, to add the scale, to add the north row, yeah, description and etc. Very uh, limited, yeah. Okay, now the next step is to prove about the machine learning, okay. How if I move? Yeah, I move the geometry. We have already the geometry, this one. How if I move this one from scuba she to Nitoshi, for instance? To Nitoshi, okay. We run again. Okay, this is the result of the classification. So you can check the size of the classification. Now the urban area increased to 13,000 hectares. The forest increase, or oh no, decrease to so 4,000. And you can see the water must be increased to 700, previously only around 40 hectares. Okay. How if we move again? We move again to Sakuragawa. Okay, select this polygon and then we move to Sakuragawa Shi and then we click run again. Okay, we will get another classification result of the level 2 of Sakuragawa Shi. Okay, now we can see the forest area will be increased significantly to 4000 hectares. Okay. 
very convenient okay this is called the machine learning because the machine already have the information the training data sets we provide before yeah we provide the training data sets yeah we mo we can move here yeah, to anywhere the geometry as long as there is data overlapping with our geometry they will easily do the classification however if we move for instance we move to tochigi we will move this geometry to tochigishi and we click run okay we can see there is no result inside the tochigi only in this particular region okay because there is no data set available on the tochigi okay like this okay so for further yeah for further learning you can check uh, from the tutorials here so you can read the tutorial introduction to javascript for Earth engine yeah you can also check the machine learning yeah, overview of machine learning in Earth engine there is supervised classification algorithm okay there is unsupervised classification algorithm and also there is a tensor flow model yeah, tf model this is uh, used for the deep learning okay that's all for this video i hope you can spare your time to learn by yourself using your own data sets that's all thank you